So guys, before the 2023 presidential election, Wicked told the EFCC that he was not going to run away. He was going to come to answer their call. We all know that the EFCC was already making plans against Wicked, you know, that if he leaves office, he's going to answer for all the misappropriation of funds that belongs to the state. So what finally changed? How come Wicked moved from being somebody that was wanted by the EFCC to becoming the FCT minister? And now Wicked is willing so much power in this country. It is really, really shocking seeing the way things are going in this country. Sometimes you keep wondering if these our agencies like the EFCC, are they really independent? Do they really want to do their work and do it properly? Anyway, take a look at some of the accusations, you know, against Wiki. Just take a look for yourself. You brought Alimbado Sheriff, you brought him down. You brought Secondos, you pull him down. You brought uh, Ayu, you pull him down. It's about money. If you look at Wiki's life, it's all about money. What he gets out of the system. If we look at Wiki's 80 years as governor of River State, he looted over 2 trillion naira. If you listen to Wiki's speech from 1999 when he became local government chairman, up to date as minister, FCT minister, you, have, you can't hear Wiki say, my people, people are about the people. It's about power. Acquiring more power, acquiring more wealth. We care for him to we get to win election, you have to write a result for him. We has never won election on a popular vote. 2015 Gesela Khan and uh, Mbu wrote a result for him. 2015 police and uh, INEC wrote a result for him. We can never win election here and we will never win. He's not a popular candidate, he doesn't believe in election and he cannot participate in any popular election. Wiki is bent on burning down Nigeria. And you know the story of betrayers. Tinubu should go and ask Jonathan the relationship he has with Wiki as we speak. All everything about Wiki is power, 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 remaining in power. Wiki has no friend. Wiki has no body. He's loyal to. Go and find out who is loyal, Wiki loyal to. Who does Wiki listen to? Nobody. It's about power, 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 power. If tomorrow the pendulum changes, Wiki will ultimately change to the next man. We have sent this warning long ago. I will have sent the signal to Tinubu long ago. Be wary of Wiki. Wiki doesn't have a friend. He doesn't have a master. Who does Wiki listen to? Nobody. It's about power, 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 power. If tomorrow the pendulum changes, Wiki will ultimately change to the next man. We have sent this warning long ago. I will have sent the signal to Tinubu long ago. Be wary of Wiki. Wiki doesn't have a friend. He doesn't have a master. Wiki is not your friend. He's not your master. Wiki will remain with you so long as power is in his hands. As to the question of 2027, he said in one of his speech that you should wait till 2027 if you be alive. Even when God sent Satan from heaven down, angels followed him. The angels are supposed to know that God sent this man back because of his evil deeds. So, wicked today is committing all manner of crime. You don't expect the men that are carrying the carnal body to be aware. They must follow him. Let them continue to follow. The Bible says this is perilous time. Allow those that are committing crime to commit crime. Allow those that are doing all manner of things to do. But at the end of the day, justice must prevail. We have sent the message to Tinubu long ago. You should go and ask Jonathan what happened to him now. Jonathan deployed the uh, police, deployed army, deployed right, research, uh, INEC, everything here to make a wiki governor. At the end of the day, he lost. Tinubu should go and ask Jonathan the relationship he has with wiki as we speak. No relationship. Wiki doesn't greet him. He doesn't greet the wife. So if tomorrow, Atiku, everybody in Nigeria sees Atiku Sizobi, has a next nice right, wiki will switch over. Tinubu is not in his uh, uh, diary for anything. No. Tinubu is only there so long as he, he remains in power. All everything about Wiki is power, 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 remaining in power. Wiki has no friend. Wiki has no body. He's loyal to. Go and find out who is loyal. Wiki loyal to. Let us also look at the current history of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, PDP River State. Quite okay, Wiki said he supported Sim. Agreed. But Wiki's vote did not give Sim the success. Because Sim contested under the platform of PDP. There were other parties. 
reverse people voted for say for Bala. We tell his usual tradition wants to bring that PDP. The reverse state will have come together in one accord to say that that wouldn't happen. You brought Alimbado Sheriff, you brought him down. You brought Secondos, you pull him down. You brought uh, Ayu, you pull him down. Reverse people said, we can no longer pull down uh, Safe Ubara, and that wouldn't happen. It's about, it's about, it's about money. If you look at Wiki's life, it's all about money. What he gets out of the system. If we look at Wiki's 80 years as governor of River State, he looted over 2 trillion naira. But that is not even what we are talking now. For his 80 years as governor, he converted River State government properties, 50% of River State government, government properties, to his personal properties. In all of his life, it's about self, self, self. It's not about the people. If you listen to Wiko's speech from 1999 when he became local government chairman, up to date as minister, FCT minister, you, have, you can't hear Wiko say, my people. People are about the people. It's about power. Acquiring more power, acquiring more wealth. That is Wiko. Wiko doesn't have any business with the people. And governance, as we all know, is about the people. And if you see a leader that doesn't talk about the people, forget about that leader. And that is why the governors, the government at the center is going down. Because men like Wiki cannot govern Nigeria. Nigeria, as we speak, is at a crossroad. There's hunger. Prices of foodstuffs are very high. Prices of petroleum, petroleum products are so high. Exchange rate is high. What is Wiki talking about? Instead of Wiki coming to River State to address the people and tell them the government at the center is doing X, Y, Z to make sure that they fix the suffering of the people. Wiki comes here to threaten people. He will change the government at the state. He will do this. He will do that. Wiki, as far as we know, is a labor of him. But if you go back to Wiki's life, uh -huh. go back to Wiki's life. Wiki is from uh, Rume Preko. You know Rume Preko? His father has two wives. He has siblings from his uh, mother. He has siblings from his father's uh, mother. None of them, as we speak, can produce one million from anywhere. We get from Rume Pricom, as we speak. We don't have good road. We don't have road at Rume Pricom. I have said it and I'll keep saying it. Politics is a game of number. It's about number. Wiki doesn't have the number in River State anymore. He doesn't have it. First and foremost, Wiki doesn't believe in election. Wiki believe in writing results, rigging. And if you look at Wiki's history, from 2015, Jonathan and his wife deployed the uh, CP Mbu as the commissioner of River State. Deployed commissioner, deployed the Gesila Khan as River State resident electoral commissioner. They wrote result for Wiki. Wiki didn't win election in River State by popular vote. If you come to 2019, Amara came to the, the picture very few days to election. He would have won Wiki if not that the police intervene. Wiki, for him to, Wiki to win election, you have to write a result for him. Wiki has never won election on a popular vote. 2015, Gesela Khan and the uh, Mbu wrote result for him. 2015, police and the uh, INEC wrote result for him. Wiki can never win election here and will never win. He's not a popular candidate. He doesn't believe in election and he cannot participate in any popular election. So whether Wiki is there, it's not there, it's immaterial. What determines seem coming back or returning as governor in 2027 is reverse vote, not Wiki's vote. Wiki has a single vote. And that single vote cannot make him or lose election. We have three senatorial districts in River State. Rivers West, Dr. Tito Deliru from 1999 to 2007. Rivers East, Roti Mamichi was there. 2007 to 2011 to 2015. Ordinarily, Wiki shouldn't come into the picture at all. But because Jonathan and his wife were willing to impose it on the people, he came in. Now is the turn of River Southeast. Sim is doing his first tenor. Sim must ultimately and definitely do his second time. It's not about Wiki. Wiki, it's not about nobody is discussing Wiki in this state. 
We don't discuss wiki in this state. Nobody today discusses wiki in this state. He doesn't believe in election. Wiki is bent on burning down Nigeria. Look at the crisis he has created in PDP at the center. PDP is sharply divided into two now. All because of Wiki. And you know the story of betrayers. You know the story of betrayers? You know who betrayed Jesus? How did he end up? He died. Committed suicide. Wiki betray reverse people. Wiki is betraying Nigerians. And Nigeria will move on. Wiki cannot destroy Nigeria. River State, as I told you earlier, is one of the federating units. Nobody, including the Supreme Court, can stop governance at this, at the, at the, in this state. So whether Wiki is here, Wiki is not here, the state, the country must move on. The state, the country must do what? Move on. Wiki, from 2015, when he came to center stage at the PTV level, PTV has come, have been coming down. When he became governor in this state, this, this river state became, became insecure. You can't travel from one local government to the other in this state. You cannot travel from Portakot to Ahoda. You can't travel from Ahoda to Ichi. You can't travel from uh, Portakot to Ogoni. The state was insecure. For Wiki to become governor in this state in 2025, over 200, 2015, over 200 lives were lost. For Wiki to secure his re-election, soldiers were killed at uh, 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 Akukutoro and other local government. Wiki is an epitome of insecurity. Violence. So he has nothing to offer. Go to Rume Priko where he comes from. You can't see anything that represents that. Wiki has been in government since 20, 1990, 1990 date. You can't see anything. If you cannot develop your immediate community, where else will you develop? Wiki is epitomized with the destruction. Wiki came into life like he had destroyed PDP. Wiki brought uh, Alimodi Sheru, he destroyed Alimodi Sheru. Wiki brought uh, Secondus, he destroyed Secondus. Wiki brought Ayu, he destroyed Secondus. Uh, Ayu. Wiki has brought Sin, he wants to destroy Sin. Reverse people have said, eh, no. Straightforward, no. Wiki cannot destroy Sin. Sin is product of uh, reverse people. And reverse people must continue to be with Sin and continue to be with Sin. So, guys, these are some of the things we keep saying about this country. You know, when people are good, they are not being appreciated. But when people are bad, no matter how bad they are, the politics of Nigeria, you know, politicians, they will so much power. You can imagine Wiki becoming the FCT minister. He even assumes more power than the president himself. Wiki will come out to ask who will challenge him. Sinovo has not come out to ask that kind of question. Wiki believes nobody can stand on his way. Wiki believes he can crush anybody. Wiki believes, you know, that the judiciary is with him. The police is with him. The military is with him. And the, the president is with him. The Senate, National Assembly is with him. And that's why Wiki comes out with so much, you know, audacity to question who is going to challenge him. So we all know that the EFCC is trying to arrest Obaseke once he leaves office. I mean, the EFCC keep doing, when I say they do the right thing in the wrong way, you can imagine, okay, they, it is being believed that Obaseke misused the money that belonged to the state. This might be witch hunt. We all know that he's not in good relationship with Wiki is not in good relationship with Oshomole. He's not in good relationship with his deputy who has joined the Oshomole camp. And this might, this might be a very good time to start dragging him. I mean, dragging him. And one keeps wondering, why is it that the EFCC only goes for the a a PDP governors and the PDP candidates? Why is it that the EFCC don't go for people that are in APC? I have never seen the APC, uh, the, I've never seen, you know, the EFCC dragging somebody from the APC. I'm not. But when it comes to opposition par parties, the EFCC is always at the forefront. This is the same EFCC that couldn't arrest Yaya Bello. But Yaya Bello came to Abuja, came to their parking lot, and still walked home or drove home. The EFCC couldn't do anything. They were like telling us they didn't even know he was there. They didn't even know he came. They didn't even know this and that. So what happened to Yaya Bello until now? But if you belong to the opposition, you will just be counting the, the days and the minutes that the EFCC is going to come to pick you up. We saw what they did to Roach as a culture. Because he wanted to con context for the president. The only way was to disgrace him. We saw what the EFCC, even uh, the vice presidential candidate for the PDP, is currently in the, in the EFCC detention. 
Because these people believe that going after opposition is going to weaken opposition and they will not have a strong opposition in the country. And those who doesn't have liver may want to join them. So, guys, what is happening in this country is really, really so pathetic, honestly. It's sad to see what is happening. Anyway, you blame Obase, uh, Obaseke. Because Obaseke, when he came in, he said Oshomole looted too. Oshomole, that was going to prop Oshomole's government. What happened? He left Oshomole. Now it is Oshomole's turn to probe him. You know, it is social media. These people, they don't do things in the interest of the Nigerian people. It is all in their own interest. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.